Name, name rank, one. serial number. Name rank, Peter Livingston. <laughs> yeah, it's a deep hole. This <laughs> this house has basements, and so it has a lift station to pump out the water from the lift station. Uh, this is an SPI pump station panel with an Omron H3CR timer. And to get rid of 750 gallons per day, we are set to dose right now every hour and a half. So we've got our off time set to hours. We've got our on time set to minutes. So we dose every hour and a half for 12 minutes and over a 24 hour period on that size field, we will get rid of 750 gallons of water. Uh, this panel has the two split breakers, one for the pump, one for the controls and the alarm, so those are on separate circuits. This is the heavy duty Eaton contactor. And this panel here, we are now running on hand operation because we're pumping out the pump tank as we speak. This has the uh, both the visual and the audible. I'll go ahead and play that audible alarm. And going to the pump tank, um, we use a 1,200 gallon pump tank, which we filled up to the top for the water tightness test. And uh, that is designed to have a full day's flow of reserve above the alarm float. So there'll be 750 gallons of water above the alarm float, so that tank will stay about two-thirds, three-quarters empty most of its life. And that's because we have to have one day storage within the system and we also have to have enough water for our chlorine contact time. So there's a chlorinator before, so we're getting our mixing for our chlorine contact time, but we're also making sure that we have our one day's empty storage. Correct. So as long as we have enough water in there for buoyancy calcs, yeah, the rest is for storage. Okay, this is a fixed film uh, aerobic system, so you see the air bubbling and you will have bacteria growing on the plastic film there and after it gets going and there's food for it or, or a septage for it, then it will turn uh, gray to black color. Okay, so here's the blower that's operating for this system. And it's got the air, the sound buffering in there and with, when it, the cover's on we can really barely hear it. It's actually, we can barely hear it even opened up. So here we have the chlorinator, it's a tablet chlorinator and that entity, there's an alarm on this. Yeah. And there's an alarm on this, which is why that's as heavy as it is. And this uses a specific manufacturer's specific chlorine tablet, not just your standard pool tablet. So this is the chlorine contact and storage tank and pump tank. So during normal operation, uh, this tank would be about two feet deep and there will be floats controlling the pump in this on a timer as well. But if the, if the water level gets too high, then the pump will override the timer and it will pump it down again. If it, the pump stops, the alarms go off, and you still have uh, a day's worth of flow uh, stored in here for safety factor. And again, you can see that there's a union, so you can pull out the pump easily, and there's an air release valve in there with the pump going down. So the water coming in here now is coming out of the, the uh, system there. And then here we have the uh, filter system, which uh, is a continuous, it's a 100 micron filter and it's continuously filtering and uh, backwashing back into the line coming back up into the tank. So we're at, we've got a back pressure of 17 psi coming back up from the, the leach field and so the leach field's running probably at about 40 psi but that's that's well within the manufacturer's operating realm for this uh, drip irrigation system. So now we're looking at the disposal field down there starting at that cactus where the and the shovel and it moves on out around the contours and uh, that's as best we can do there's six lines that are 85 or 80 feet long to give us our length that we're required so we're looking at the leach field here you can see where the lines go across avoiding the cactus nicely done You've got it shaded with this land, it's shaded, and then you've got uh, a non-woven geotextile fabric, and then the rocks and the rest of the dirt above that. And you can still see a little bit of the black uh, tubing down there.